Hi! <sighs> Today is Tuesday. The last time I vlogged was on Saturday after Lydia's wedding. Hmm. Look at the money I just found. CDs. 50 CDs. 20 CDs. 20 CDs. 10 CDs. So, should I say welcome to Anibal? Yeah. I just showered. This is Stress Sarah coming to you guys. First, there is um network problem in Kaduna. There hasn't been network all in the name of trying to catch Boko Haram or what I don't know, but it's very the reason is very rubbish. So network has been terrible. And then guess what? They banned dispatch riders. I didn't know how important dispatch riders were. Apparently they banned bikes, like bikes, but then they just categorized dispatch riders as part of them. So I didn't even know how important dispatch riders were in my life until this thing happened. I'm using Mirage Gloss, guys. This is my friend's brand, and today is her birthday, by the way. So, hmm, coincidence, I honestly didn't plan. I've actually been using her lip gloss. So it was just here, and I picked it up. Topping it up with some Killer Beauty Cappuccino. Guys, like, I'm not even, this is not hype or anything. This gloss, you need it in your life. Please look at how it's looking on my lips. Look at me making noise, what's the time? Guys, let me get ready. I like customers like this, like customers that will laugh with you and just, I don't like your familiar ones, don't come and be family with me. I like the ones that is just natural. Yeah, this ones. Like, God is so good. Like, I don't even know how to... I don't know where to start from until I tell the story and if I say I'm going to start telling the story, this video is going to be like 30 minutes. But God is so good, like, the truth is that, eh, like, sometimes we think we can go through things ourselves. <laughs> or more, if you think you can, eh, you're nobody, you. like, believe in my last vlog, I told you guys, like, something about how much I bought it for my shipping, it wasn't the plan, blah, 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 like, this morning was like the deadline I gave myself to pay for my shipping year. What I've been trying to raise, it's not like I don't have the money, right? But like, I didn't even have the money. Yes, I didn't have the money because I had the money somewhere else. But like, that's not the money I plan to touch. I didn't plan to use that money for my shipping. That money is set aside for something else. And then I got a customer today. Like, today I got my highest paying customer. And I'm just like... This one, are you sure you know it's coming? You're coming to give me list like this. Like, who gives? What are you? Do you understand? Like, when she dropped her list, and she was like, I can't know about this. I was like, This one's serious. Then I dropped the account number. So, if you know, after they say account number, please, they'll just air you. Next thing, I just saw screenshots that she sent. I've made the payment. Okay. Huh? Okay. <laughs> anyway, like, it's just like, what you're just worrying about, like, it's what my mom always says like stop worrying like just tell god there's nothing that's too big for for god like you worrying is almost like saying oh i'm doubting god i'm not sure god can do this for me but like when you just leave it to him he'll just he'll always come through after i finish saying this something will happen tomorrow again and i'll start worrying so i'm just saying it to remind myself it's nothing too big for I think like three or four days after my last vlog or my last check-in with you guys anyway i'm in abuja now i came in yesterday because i came to get my boots and i've gotten them for just some of them guys i had eight packages in total and only four like so eight packages got to lagos and then they had to send it from lagos to abuja for me because there was no flight to kaduna because i was in kaduna at the moment they arrived so like I was like, okay, send it to Abuja. I'm in Abuja at the moment. And only four, I went all the way to the airport to log there and only four packages came. So four more I'm missing. And when those ones reach, I'll still have to pay for them to bring the like, I'm tired. <laughs> so this is the first one, second one, third one. I already opened the fourth one. I brought out those things from it, so. 
that's what I'm working with. I'm so busy. I wouldn't be vlogging the process of me unboxing because I have so much work to do. So I just wanted to check in with you guys. Hey love. Why is this thing so zoomed in anyway? Hi guys, it's been forever doing this camera looks makes me look so light skinned. <laughs> that if you see me in person, you'll be like, uh uh, it's not the first person you to see. Yeah, how are you guys doing? How is everybody doing? Hope you're good. Today's Thursday and it's currently 9 24am. I've been awake ever since. Oops. Hey, I better go. I need to moisturize my lips. First since 6 a.m. I was packing some orders and I just finished like let's see 15 minutes ago and I was just trying to clean my room. I'm done with that now. Today I have a live video with Essenza about this clinic. You guys I posted it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go and follow me now because I don't know why you're not following me on Instagram. Yeah, so I'm having a live video today. It's by 1 p.m. So I still have about four hours till then. I say three hours, thirty minutes, roughly, till that time. But by twelve, we have like like a conference call. So yeah, that's also happening. I got sent this box. Um, I believe by now the unboxing should have already gone up on my channel. But yeah, this is what you get in it, and yeah, this is basically what we're working with. It's their anti blemish solution skincare range. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Um, yeah, this has been like my biggest collaboration with a Nigerian brand yet. Yeah, I'm gra grateful for this. I'm so grateful for it. And here's to more. To be honest, like sometimes I feel like, not sometimes, like I know that my location like affects me working with Nigerian brands sometimes, but it's a long story. There's a long story behind that. I've been trying to work on that. I'm just letting things flow and I'm letting things happen and I'm so grateful for this opportunity that's what I just wanted to put out there um anyway yeah I went shoe shopping I went shoe shopping I sat down and ordered for four shoes at once <laughs> and then I ordered for four more shoes at once <laughs> I already unboxed them so I threw some boxes away because I noticed that I'm a hoarder I tend to keep boxes and I'm going to be showing you guys the shoes I got um, I got eight shoes in total so yeah the first one is this it's from forever 21 yeah this is what it looks like it's a very simple this is one of my favorites i don't have a favorite i like all of them but i like some more than the others and this is definitely one of my favorites this is what it looks like um all the shoes i bought are heels because i'm more of a heels girl than i am flat when i'm going out I left most of my shoes in china so since i came back i've only bought like let's say five and i came back with like two so and like three out of it i don't like them anymore <laughs> yeah so i just said to buy some more this one i got from my customer i have a customer where i buy like shoes for people that want to like start their shoe business um so she's the one i trust her, her shoe quality everything i actually have two customers but this is one of them i got this from her this is like you guys know bottega this is like a bottega inspired kind of shoe it has that square top thing Bottega shoes are really expensive I can't afford them now <laughs> even if I can't afford them I feel like I wouldn't want to spend that much on shoes now because these things are like trends I like to I think that they are trends and so now or later it's going to go out of trend and something else will come so I feel like if you can get a cheaper option why not but if you have the money to splurge baby girl splurge on it why not <laughs> but yeah I'm just not that rich yet so I got something inspired by it it's like this place is like twisted and this comes in orange white black green a lot of bright colors but i just got the nude one and most of a lot of the shoes i got here are nude this is what it looks like and it has like the heels are not so high like that but it's, it's really pretty i got from the same person the same customer woman um yeah this is what it looks like it's just like a basic black shoe this is like i feel like this is this is just like basic black shoes. Um, I liked it more in the picture. I'm not really a fan of it. My cousin asked me for it, so I think I'm going to give her this black one. I like the nude one better. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's not so hard to. It's just I, I, I was gravitating towards like a lot of comfortable shoes, shoes I can wear like 
in the night, in the morning, anytime. Just just shoes that will make me comfortable. I wasn't going for like extremely. I don't know. Does anybody wear this? Um, got it from this same customer. I don't. I'm not really a fan of it right now that I've seen it. I liked it more before I got it, and I feel like this would be perfect for when I'm going for a wedding or something because it has like sparkles and it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. I just liked it better as a picture. But yeah, it's also not so high, comfortable, beautiful. And for these, this is the one, this is one of the ones I'm going to wear today, I believe. This one I got it from, let me show you guys, the 11th. The 11th. So their shoes are really affordable. Really, really affordable. So I got these ones for, because the rate is high now so if normally like when i was in china i would buy shoes from them for like two five in nara two five three thousand five four thousand five k highest except like i'm going for boots like knee high boots or something those are the ones that will go all the way to maybe 10k other than that like their shoes are really affordable this these shoes are so comfortable so comfortable super comfortable i love them so much this is what it looks like they are comfortable and the quality of their shoes are really really good this one i got it for like five thousand a lot of people in nigeria buy it and resell it these shoes i know i've seen this from a vendor for 17.5 it's worth it because when you add shipping and everything that depending on shipping she uses plus her profit and all but to be honest if you ordered this from china plus shipping and all it shouldn't be more than seven thousand there but anyway yeah so i got this i also got it in nude let me show you so i also got the nude one i feel like this will look so good with jeans whatever kind of jeans wide leg jeans straight jeans whatever kind of jeans like um if you want to start a shoe business they have so many kinds of shoes from flats slippers whatever any brand inspired shoes just know they have it and they're so affordable this is not sponsored by the way i bought these shoes with my money i'm just plugging you guys if you want to start a business and you contact them you even get it cheaper but of course there's a there's an moq moq means minimum order quantity so they can tell you oh you have to buy at least 20 types 20 pieces of this shoe or they can tell you oh you need to buy at least 50 pieces and when you're buying like that much you can go all the way down to like 2500 naira. imagine buying for that price and they're selling it in nigeria for like 17,000. <laughs> anyway yeah this is why you guys should join my class i know i haven't posted about it but join my class regardless so the final shoe i got is also from the 11th this is it this is the highest shoe like longest heel shoe and it's like a clear it's just clear heels basic clear heels i have nude clear heels and i have white clear heels so i said to get black i didn't want to get like i just i feel like clear heels are just i don't know i like it i love them so i got it so yeah so the end, let me show you guys my faves this one is one of my faves and they're also comfortable let me tell you guys forget the price the quality is good like it's very very good it's comparable to all your high brands the quality is good i feel like you can even see from the picture you're not going to see any mark of um bam those marks you see no you won't see any of those these qualities are really good my favorite is like i like this really like this one from forever 21 and i have wide feet just so you know i have wide feet so i always i'm very conscious of the kind of shoes i buy i won't go and be buying this those tiny strap shoes no because i have wide feet so yeah but this even though i have close my door close my door close my door close my door i have wide feet but these are comfortable regardless <clears throat> These two are like my faves too. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to have my bath and then I'll make a video. I want to film a video before our, before the conference call and then before the live video. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.